Hey everybody, I just want to make a quick video. I get a ton of comments that channels grown by leaps and bounds both on Instagram and YouTube beyond my wildest expectations and thank you for the great comments. Occasionally somebody will send in a comment and uh, I got a bunch of great comments from, uh, we'll call him David, uh, and he asks uh, among other things, I'd love to hear you talk about what it would take to change marriage and divorce laws, okay? So through the lens of a divorce lawyer, um, here's my answer, okay? These laws evolve one of two ways. Either the statutes, uh, marriage and divorce statutes change, which is done by the state legislature in the U.S. Each state has a state legislature that can write laws and have them pass. Another way divorce laws uh, are come into being is through case law, where cases are litigated and then they go up on appeal. And uh, if the appellate courts publish an opinion, uh, that becomes good law that gives guidance to uh, the population and the lawyer. So now what's it going to take to change uh, the, the marriage and divorce laws? That's a really broad question and my videos are usually three minutes or less, but I just want to give you some uh, cold hard bad news around, let's talk about divorce laws. Um, in many jurisdictions, these laws have evolved over the course of many decades, uh, and the statutes are what they are. They get tweaked a little bit, uh, either by uh, procedural rules committees or uh, by other changes in the statutes through the legislatures. But if you're looking for a sweeping change around uh, things like child custody laws, or uh, equitable distribution or community property laws, don't count on it. There's just too many other issues that the state legislatures are focused on right now, economic issues and health issues. Um, but here's the good news. You don't have to get married and worry about getting ensnared in these laws. You can still have a great life if you're willing to stand up and say, you know what? I don't think I want state law into my life. Uh, there's plenty of people, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, that say the same thing. They don't get married and they don't find themselves in a common law marriage situation. So if you don't like the laws, the chances of you getting married and then hoping the laws change, uh, not a good strategy. Don't do that. Uh, you're overwhelmingly trying to beat the odds. But Here's the good news again. You don't need to be uh, under state law by getting married. Don't do that. That's a divorce lawyer telling you. I know it's counterintuitive. Great question. Keep them coming. If someone you know needs to see this, share it. Thank you for all the great uh, comments and suggestions. Be careful out there. And don't follow somebody else's paradigm just because they watch Disney movies or Hollywood movies where people get married after a short period of time, don't do that. Keep you out of here.